The traditional colors of Halloween are black and orange. Halloween is a time dedicated to the dead, and black has been the color most associated with death since ancient times. To many people, black also signifies the devil, evil, and sorcery, hence the term black magic. Witches and Halloween go hand in hand, and the color black has long been linked to the practice of the witch's craft. In the Middle Ages, each witch was believed to possess a familiar, usually a black cat, black dog, or a black bird such as a raven or a crow. Black is a color embraced by witches, not for its association with evil, but rather for its magical ability to counteract evil, as well as to absorb and neutralize negative energy vibrations. Halloween's other traditional color, orange, reflects this holiday's ancient connection to agriculture and its celebration as a harvest festival. Orange, the color of pumpkins and autumn leaves, evokes the spirit of the fall season. It's the color of the glowing embers and dancing flames of the sacred and magical Samhain bonfires that once illuminated the night. Orange candles are used to magically strengthen health, luck, courage, and the powers of concentration. Many witches burn orange candles to conjure forth psychic vig visions or messages. Together, the colors black and orange create a powerful symbol that is rich with legend and lore, magic and mystery. It's Halloween. Burning candles of black and orange light the darkness and welcome the spirits of the dead. Ghosts, skeletons, and skull-shaped candles with their obvious theme of death are used by many witches on Halloween in rituals designed to bless or welcome back the spirits of the dead. They're also used in seance or Ouija board sessions as they attempt to communicate with the world beyond. Fun fact, the essential oil of anise is traditionally used for anointing candles used in spells and rituals to conjure spirits. Use orris oil for protection against evil spirits. Lavender oil, when used correctly, can bestow the power to see ghosts. A witch's luck candle spell. To bring good luck into your life, take a brand new orange candle that has never been lit and anoint it with three drops of cinnamon, clove, and lotus oil. These oils possess strong luck attracting vibrations, which make them ideal for the spell. When the clock strikes midnight on Halloween night, light the candle with a match and chant three times. Brimstone, moon, and witch's fire, candle light sprite spell, good luck shall I now acquire, work thy magic well. Midnight twelve, the witching hour, bring the luck I seek. By wax and wick, now work thy power, as these words I speak. Harming none, the spell is done, by law of three, so mote it be. Gaze into the candle's flame, and fill your mind with thoughts of good luck. Visualize the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. Allow the candle to burn until sunrise, the morning of November 1st. If the candle is still burning, you may extinguish it by pinching it out with your fingers. Do not blow it out with your breath. According to occult folklore, you will cause all of your luck to blow away. Blessed be. What's up, witches? If you subscribe and leave a comment on any episode during the month of October, on November 1st, fate will randomly pull a comment out of my witch's hat. Remember, you must be subscribed to win. And don't forget, please hit that like. Here are just some of the potions that I've brewed up just for you. Good luck. Let's be.